Okay, we're going to demonstrate uh, a basic object in Java. The object that we're going to create is a student object, and then we're going to create a separate class that's known as a driver class that has a main method in it. And that class is going to instantiate the student class several times, and then we're going to use the methods of the student class to modify the student objects and to retrieve the information in the student objects. So, let me go ahead and start up Notepad++. While I've got Eclipse downloading, we're going to use that going forward. This will be the last one I use in Notepad. But I went ahead and said I'm going to create a, a class called Student. Let me save this to my desktop real quick. I know it needs to be named student.java. So I'm going to create a public class called Student. and student again student doesn't have a main method okay we're gonna have a driver program that will have our main method in it but students gonna go ahead and have some information about the student for example I'll have a string value to store the gender I will have a string value to store the address of the student I will have a double variable to store the income and an integer value to store the age. So I've got four variables of that are going to be used to store information about the student. Now what I have to do is I have to write accessor methods and mutator methods for each one of these variables. So four variables, I'm going to have four accessors and four mutators. I'm going to group them together and I'm going to write the accessors first. Again, accessor methods, uh, methods are typically public, so we'll go ahead and define this as public. And I'm going to do the one for the gender first. Um, since it's an accessor method, it's going to return a string. I'm going to call it get gender. that returns the gender of the student. So our next method is going to be public string called get address. It's going to return the address. Public double because now we're returning a double data type instead of a string data type called get income which has the keyword return income and then finally we got an age variable public int get age return age so four variables four accessor methods Now, write the mutators. Again, mutators are methods, so they're going to be a public method with no return type called set gender. And set gender will accept a string. I'm going to type in GEN for the gender that they're going to pass in. And they're going to pass in male or female. They might even pass in an M or an F, uh, in which case we will set the gender variable, which this variable up here, I'll copy it, this gender variable is an instance variable equal to GEN, which is the value that they pass in. Our next one, public void, our next variable is our address, so we're going to set address. string a well addr we'll say we'll learn a better way so we don't have to abbreviate later on to avoid shadowing uh, we'll set the address variable up top equal to addr that they pass in 
public void set income, double I for your income, set income equal to I, and public void set, what was the last one? Age. Integer A for age, age equals A. Did this very quickly for the purpose of demonstration. Four variables, four accessors, four mutators. Let me go to the command prompt, compile it, make sure it works. CD to my desktop, Java C, student.java. Hey, it worked. Now we have to write the driver. Again, we have multiple files working together to complete a program. Back into Notepad++. I'll write a public class called student demo. Go ahead and save it on my desktop. Call it student demo dot Java. And because this is a driver, we have our main method, public static void main string args and inside our main method we're going to create three students student and I'm just going to call them s1 you can call them whatever you want is a new student using the default constructor student s2 is a new student Student S3 is a new student. Now, we have mutators, right? Set address, set income, set age, set gender. So S1, the student 1, set gender will be male. Student 1 dot set address we'll make uh, up an address of uh, 3351 Finney Avenue St. Louis Mo the student one set income and income was a double so we can pass in um, 15,000 Zero, 0 and s1 dot the last one was set age which was an integer we'll pass in uh, 22 now you do the same for three students matter of fact you can even copy this paste it and paste it but student 2 will be female She's going to live at the same place. She's going to make more money. And she's going to be younger. Student 3 will be a male. Oops. To change this, it has to be S2. Student 2 said gender. Student 2 address. Student 2. Student 2. This one has to be student 3. Student 3. Student 3. Student 3. This one's going to be male. He's going to live at the same place. He's going to make even less money. And he's going to be older. He's not as successful. So now we set all this information for all of our students. And now I'll demonstrate retrieving that using the accessors. We'll say system out print line. We'll say student one info. Plus an S1 dot get gender plus a empty st string here plus s1 dot get address plus an empty string plus s1 dot oops don't forget your parentheses on your methods s1 dot get income plus an empty string plus s1 dot get age and then close the print line 
if I compile this Java C student demo dot Java Java student demo here we see student one info is a mail with his address here we have the income and there's student one's age.